yeah, yeah. So be careful, it's a little uneven. No, little. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chetinad Indian Turf Invitation Cup, Chennai 2022, Grade 1. And we're going to start by asking Chairman Madras Race Club, Chairman Turf Authorities of India, to present a bouquet to Mrs. Geeta Mutaya. Can I have the bouquet, please? And a small memento as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Chetinad Indian Turf Invitation Cup 2022, Grade 1, won by the Grey Mayor, Juliet owned by Dr. Ramayam Ramaswamy Chediyar of Chetana Charitable Trust and Mrs. Geeta Mataya, along with the chairman of the other top authorities of India, will hand over the trophy to Mr. A.C. Mataya. Trained by Mr. Kantak Ganapati. by Jackie C.S. Joda. Bred at the Solar Stud, an agricultural farm. And the trophy being taken here on behalf of the Sud so ladies and gentlemen, everything went according to the script. Shakespeare had written it a long time ago, but his heroine didn't make it. This one certainly did, but it took her three attempts to do that. Juliet ran the invitation in Hyderabad. She ran second. Then she ran the invitation in Mumbai in December 21. And she was a very unlucky second. And then, today, running her third invitation, having lost none of her zest for racing at the age of six, she comes out to win the most important race of her life. A tremendous performance here by the six-year-old Gray. And we start, ladies and gentlemen, by getting Kartik Ganapati up in front of us. Well, she's definitely the best you've trained, isn't she? Yes, I know she is the best. And is it difficult to keep her going? You must have had so many disappointments. First in Hyderabad, then in Bombay. You must have really been feeling let down. I was not let down by the Philly. There were circumstances. The luck was not with us. Uh, so yes, disappointed, yes. But she's always put her best foot forward. And that shows she's a great horse with a big heart. Well, congratulations. A great achievement. And you've really taken her places. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. A.C. Mataya, representing the M.A.M. Ramaswamy Chetiyar of Chetanad Charitable Trust. She just received Horse of the Year last night, and today she's shown them why she was Horse of the Year. You've seen some wonderful horses. What do you think of Juliet? Juliet is a great horse. She's got a tremendous turn.
Stephen representing Sarnath Stad. We've got him up. Can, I, can you please have him up? Hi. Well, what's going through your mind as you come in here today on invitation evening? So it's a wonderful feeling winning uh, the invitation three times in four years. And I definitely would say that my father would be very proud. Thank you. Well, congratulations. And what an achievement. Sona Stad winning three invitation cups in the last four years, which could well have been four out of four with a little bit of luck. So that was the outcome of the Chedanad Indian Turf Invitation Cup. I'd like to ask the chairman, Madras Race Club Turf Authorities, just to say a few words on the invitation and Chennai hosting it. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Mr. Man. You know, first of all, you are retired God. No rains for the last two, three days. I made this this remark here. And then I thank all the sponsors and all the punters. I hope that you all enjoy this great day. My congratulations to the winners, trainer Ganapati, his son Karthi, his very close trainers to my father. We had won so many invitations. I myself was carried four invitations with Ganapati, and they are good trainers, and I congratulate Jackie Jara also for the wonderful job and keeping the memory of my father after seven years after his demise. Still he is able to make the hard work that he has put in this race course and his name comes back again and again and again. I'm very happy about it and I'm very happy to sponsor this race. Thank you one and all. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request the Chairman Turf Authorities of India to present a memento to the sponsor of the Chedinad Indian Turf Invitation Cup. Can you all come forward to present it to Dr. M. M. R. Mataya and Mrs. Nita Mataya? So ladies and gentlemen, a quick picture. Can we all get together for a trophy picture here? So from the presentation earlier for the invitation, but there's still more to come. Thank you very much, Mr. Matera. So ladies and gentlemen, we'd now like to welcome on stage the man who had just received his Lifetime Achievement Award last night, Mr. Zavali Bonarella. Can we have you up on stage, please? So, ladies and gentlemen, Lifetime Achievement Award by Fawzavare Espunawala, which was presented to him yesterday and today. We thought he should be honored once more in front of this large gathering. We're asking the Chairman Turf Authorities to jointly present this trophy to Zavare.
this time. This time I better look at my paper. <laughs> Authorities, Dr. M. N. R. Mutaya, Chairman, committee members, ladies, gentlemen, friends, well wishers, and ways goes. I'll try and go fast because it will rain. I am humbled and choked at being bestowed and felicitated this most prestigious award of the country, for which I gratefully thank the Board of Authorities of India and the Madras Race Club. Thank you, sir. This has a very special significance because this is the 60th year of the top authorities of India and is the Diamond Jubilee. And also my 60th year in the industry. So it has a special significance. Furthermore, my 40 years since I dedicated my life for the good of racing and this award is given to me, bestowed upon me by the turf authorities after a long period of 40 years, duly and carefully chosen. Thus, this award becomes the sweetest award ever to be, as it is chosen after years of careful selection. To have achieved this, I need to thank my family, particularly my wife, Veros, for the time that she allowed me to be away from home and dip into my pocket, which otherwise I would not have been able to do. And so my elder children also are still allowing me to spend, otherwise it would have been their share of income. On this joyous occasion, with the blessings and the great chairman over here, who has done so much in three years, deserves all support as he has been fully supported by the turf authorities of India to do a lot of things which we are going to do. And to give all the encouragement and impetus, I would like to present a check of rupees 50 lakhs towards a racing academy to be opened in Madras very soon. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You have done a great job. I have seen all this. I am going home excited. Thank you. Thank you. Please sit. One more award to go. You have to wait. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Take a picture of this. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's just one more presentation to go from here. As the curtain comes down on this invitation weekend and the sun begins to set, we haven't seen it for a while on the Gindi race course, after the running of the Invitation Cup in its Diamond Jubilee year, won by Juliet, there's one more presentation. It's the handing over of the Invitation Cup trophy, which is now 60 years old, to the family of the man who has won it no less than 11 times. Just as the terms of the Invitation Cup changed in 2013, when it became a wait for age affair, so too will the trophy for this great race also change and appear in its new avatar when the race travels to Bengaluru and the Bangalore Turf Club. That is when it will be handed over to the Turf Authorities of India and unveiled come the first weekend of March 2023. But for now, I'd like to request the Chairman of the Turf Authorities of India to jointly hand over the invitation cap to the family of Dr. M. A. M. Lamaswamy, who is a legend and will always remain a legend right through. We'd request Dr. M. M. L. Mutaya to receive this trophy on behalf of the family, and I'm sure that of all the trophies that adorn his residence, this will be the jewel in the crown. Go on.
ladies and gentlemen, the invitation cap, 60 years, goes to Chatinath Palace. Friends, on behalf of the tough families and all the racing fraternity in the country, we have decided to institute a new trophy to be given to a person who has dedicated his life for the racing industry in this country. And we would like to name this as a trophy, a legend of Indian racing. And there is no other person than late my good friend Dr. M. Ramaswamy, new to all of us as Ramu, who deserves this trophy. I think I was just talking to my friends, I said they should be not more than one or two trophies of legend and not more than that. And if there's a vacancy only that can be given. This is my suggestion to all the top authorities. I hope they accept it. And this should be given to a person who has done human service to the racing industry. Now, to me, as you all know, when the racing was banned in Chennai, it was Dr. Ayan Ramaswamy single-handed, went to the Supreme Court and got the judgment which is helping the racing industry in this country. And we are grateful to him. And now that his son has taken over, I must tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it was in some time in Bangalore. It was a racing day. Ramu was sitting next to me, or I was sitting next to him, and I asked him, why, Ramu, why don't you bring my son? And you know what he said? I've told him many times, but he's not interested. And I'm glad, at least now, wisdom has prepared the Ramu and will come, take up racing, holding his banner, flag, high, and I can only say the same glory that was there in Chennai will come back. And on behalf of all of us, I wish you all the best. And I'm, yeah, I'm happy to associate with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gentlemen and ladies, you have heard a man with the greatest wisdom in the racing industry. He is the man who first got the Lifetime Achievement Award, and perhaps it came through his mindset many, many years back, 62 years back. So when you heard him just now, all words of wisdom, yes, Dr. Ramaswamy had his own ways of racing. He loved his horses, and he ran them the way he wanted. But he did something for the industry, which nobody could ever, ever do, which Mr. Surinder Radhavi has already explained that he got this permission of horse racing being a sport and not gambling. And because of that, today, horse racing has survived and will always survive in India. Having said that, it is a delightful moment for the Royal and Grand Trophy passing hands. Madras Race Club who have acquired the trophy from the turf authorities of India as it returns after decades, is retired after decades, is being presented to Dr. M. A. M. R. Mutaya. Well deserved, so that he can treasure it in his museum, is going to be given and presented by his own club. With great pomp and show, as all this is happening in Madras Race Club and is well deserved in the memory of Ramu, who was a personality of sorts in racing and spent his whole life with horses and horses and horses. 
a great judge of horse flesh with a classic winning record. His son, Dr. M. A. Mathaya, is a very able administrator who has broken all records along with his worthy colleagues who have worked very hard since the last one month and even for the last two years to build it uh, to build this club to new heights within a short period of three years and thus well deserve the Hall of Fame award and this beautiful trophy, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am honored to receive this trophy on behalf of my beloved father, Dr. Ramal Ramaswamy. I thank the chairman and top authorities of all the club for their lecture. I thank Surya Reddy especially, the chairman, and Rabban for his kind words and Mr. Pramala. This just makes me to recall my father's passion as a servant in horse racing for past several years. I finally remembered his I greatly unpartnered achievement in many classic world races after seven years of winning his career of winning the best horse, best winner. Even today, yesterday, his colors got the best winner, and today the Invitation Cup winner. All these efforts cannot be done in three or four years or overnight. It is done in decades and decades, and that is the hard work of my father, which has been today acknowledged as a legendary of Indian horse racing. So I thank and I really, um, appreciate all my Midwest committee members for making this ruling trophy as a gift of legend of Indian horse racing and replacing with a new trophy. I thank one and all. Thank for patiently waiting for the last 10 minutes, the one race to go. I hope that we'll complete it before the rain and enjoy the success of this weekend. Thank you.